Hello, I'm the Bowmeister. Welcome back to Final Fantasy III. Last time, we got ourselves a boat. Seated the Neptune Dragon and got ourselves a boat. So now we can travel away from here. And I think R1? Yes, R1 gives us a map of where we currently have been. So what we're going to do, we need to make a stop. Well, since we have Dash in our party, remember somebody? It's a couple of fishmen. Sahagans, in fact. Alright, we're gonna steal. Potion. Not shabby so far. Got a cat underneath me again. What happens when I get up and leave? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna steal from the other one, and I'm just gonna keep attacking. For right now. Eventually these fishmen will go down. Fish things. Okay, there we go. Only because I think one of these guys have thunder. One of the. I think Riley has thunder, so I can't really use him at the moment. One hit this time. Am I just failing because I can't get anything from him or what? But down it goes. Look at us go. 140 gil, 125 experience points. Ivan gains a job increase. Andre gains a job increase. Chance gains a job increase. And if we sail this way... Oh, hey, look! It's Kanan! I think I want to go in here. I do. Desh, oh, Desh, you've come back! I'm certain you had forgotten about me. I'm relieved to see you're all right. I'll stop crying and wait for your return once more. Okay. Well, that's it. Which really all I wanted to do in Canaan, to be honest with you. Well, I still had him in my party anyway. Sorry. Alright, so let's get back on the boat. And now we're gonna head west. Across the mighty sea. And we got ourselves new enemies here. Tangies? I'm assuming that's pronounced Tangy. I'm gonna hit one with magic just to see. Ooh, gotta be careful with Riley here. Got a potion. Sixty-eight. Okay. I'm actually going to use said potion on Riley for a moment. And cast fire on the other one just to see. I might need to do some training because these enemies are starting to get tough and we are starting to get our rear ends handed to us. If I manage to live through this episode, I will I will essentially stop recording and do some training. Get some level ups going. There we go. Oh, that was scary. Stare causes paralysis. Three hits. Oh, that's just enough. Alright, we get ourselves 136 skill, 125 experience points. Ivan gains a job level. Riley gains a job level. Chance gains a level. 
Would you go away, please? And oh, I want to go here. Seems like a good dropping off point. Oh, well, we're in the living woods. We are fairies, keeper of these woods. I don't think I need to be here just yet. Wrong woods. Yep, I went a little bit. But we got some new enemies here. We've got ourselves a flyer, a knocker, and a gorgon. Uh, we're gonna need to heal. Those guys up. You're gonna hit him with thunder? Nope, you're gonna physical strike. Pusher and Andrea gives the least a small fighting chance. Riley's down. Oh, thank God, stair missed again. And cure. Uh, attack. You're gonna attack, and you are going to Phoenix down Riley. You just take somebody down will be great. If we could take somebody down, that would be great. <sighs> I gotta take somebody down. Riley's down again. Okay, at least here put him to sleep. Alright, that's one down at least. I think right now we just have to take someone down. Especially since I'm running out of Phoenix Downs and I don't, there's no way to get more. Please leave the Gorgon live long enough so I can revive Riley. Riley doesn't get any experience points this time. 248 gil, 306 experience points. Andrew gets job increase. Chance gets job increase. And... A Phoenix down. Riley. And hope. We got hope. I don't even know where the heck I'm at. Where am I at, even? Okay. I know where I'm at now. Can I just make it? No, almost made it. Got ourselves a new enemy here. Lizard Man! Down goes Andrea in one spell swoop. Was that the lizard man that hit her? No, that was the Gorgon that hit her. So Phoenix down. We may have to rethink our strategy here. Riley goes down. Alright. Please tell me you're gonna hit with Thunder. Yes, Thunder, thank you. May not do too much damage, but. No. Of course, Riley is still down. That's two battles he's out now. 170 gil, 213 experience points. Ivan gains a job increase. First things first. Revive Riley. And then get in this forest here. Gotcha, Chocobo! 
Because now we can run around on a chocobo. Do, do, do. Sorry. Off key. Or off tune singing, anyway. And now we can run around on a chocobo. Which we will do here in just a moment. Chocobo runs away because we can't go on the chocobo through the village of the ancients. Speaking of the village of the ancients, welcome to it. Nope, nope, can't go that way. But we can certainly go this way. Light and darkness have, have their own will, a will that transcends that of mere mortals such as you and I, and they are perpetually at war. The crystals ex exist to bring bal balance between these two forces. When the balance tilts too far one way, the crystals choose four mortals and bless them with their power. Now that the balance is tilted towards darkness, four warriors of the light will be chosen and tasked with bringing equilibrium to the world once more. Good, good world building right there. Ooh, we got ourselves some nice weaponry here. We've got a serpent sword. Fire staff. Light staff, ice staff, killer bow. Some more arrows. Um, I will go ahead and pick up one serpent sword. Equip it on Riley. Trade out the Mithril Sword for the Serpent Sword. There we go. I was like, I thought we could loop around here, but we can't. No looping around. But if we do here, there's one thing. Of, is, there, is it this way? Yes. If I, nope. Yeah, if I go here, talk to this kid. I'll give you a prize if you run around the edge of the continent of a chocobo. Well, let's go do that real quick. Because it's just a short walk from the from here to the... To the forest of... To the chocobo woods. Catch ourselves a chocobo, and now we'll run around the edge of the world. And meanwhile, we can take a quick peek at stuff around the world here. Bunch of water and bunch of cloudy area. I love the chocobo theme. I really do. So around and around and around we go. He said right around the whole world, so we shall. It's a wonderful, wonderful trip around the world. Nice little desert right there. And thankfully, being on a chocobo means no enemies to encounter. So while we need to grind, we also need to heal. So I'd rather be safe than to grind, and I can do that off camera. That's not a big deal. Alright. We rode around the world. So if we talk to the kid now... Incredible! You actually did it! Well, good work! I mean, work! Here's your prize. I mean, all that for a gnomish bread, but hey, we gotta at least see the world. For what it was. Go past the Mog here, because I don't think he's got anything new for us just yet. If we go up here, it's an armor shop. Have you ever, ever seen a chocobo? Such a strange bird it is. They make their home in the woods to the east if you wish to see them. We just got off of one right around the world, of course. All right, armor shop. We got shell armor, flame mail, a headband, which actually be perfect for. Oh, no, actually, that's gonna be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and equip our mage there. Uh... Oh, I can only buy one flame mail. Well, curses. What can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? The whole ale? Or no, don't get rid of the whole ale. Bronze. You know what? Let's get rid of these bronze knuckles. It's not gonna do. Essentially, not gonna do any good, but. And. We'll get rid of some bracers. And some Mithra armor. There. Another flame mail. Perfect. I have no more money, but we are equipped to the teeth now. 
Speaking of clipping to the teeth. Look at her defense increase. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. So we talked about chocobos. Let's go up here now, because we haven't been up this way yet. We'll just loop around. There's the inn. We talked to the one outside the inn. We are the sons and daughters of the ancients, a once great civilization, but now we live by the land as our rule commands. Long ago, our rule also charged us with guarding the Tower of Owen. Tower of Owen, huh? Item shop contains all sorts of items, potions, high potions, we don't have any money for, uh, maiden's kisses, petrification, or golden needle petrification, echo herbs, mallets, antidote, and eye drops. Maiden's kiss removes toad, which is another semi-useful to us. 120 gil, that's just the rest of our money. So I am going to have to grind. So I'll do, I'll do that in between. I have a little bit of time. I might come back to recording later. I slept like a log. Perfect. HP MP restored. Okay. Talk to him already. I'm just trying to talk, find everywhere else we haven't been to yet. It's here my cat jumping around in the background. Loves to be up and down in that window. There's a cat. I did see a cat across uh, in the next yard. Would you believe me if I told you that the ground we're standing on, this continent, was a loft? Rubbish, you say? Well, it's nonetheless true. The Tower Owen is a pillar, the pillar that supports our continent built by the ancients to bring balance between light and darkness. So we're floating, we're floating in the air. That's not good. Our ancestors once built, built a great civilization, but were punished for their arrogance. That is the catastrophe we now call the Wrath of the Light. They attempted to harness the power of the light. They arrogantly assumed that there was nothing they could not do, but they had thought wrong. It is said that four warriors emerged from the world of darkness and stopped their destructive forces of the light that our ancestors have conjured. But now it is darkness that has emerged, bringing chaos and destruction in its wake. All that we can do is wait for the four warriors to appear once again. Hi! Nice to meet you! In the magic shop we go. We can learn sight, we can get fire, blizzard, and thunder. Teleport, cura, and blinded. Sure. Teleport will be a fun spell to have because we can get out of dungeons, but of course. Nope. We have no money. Our rule commands us to let ourselves be guided by the great will. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. I guess there's one more thing I can do in the town real quick. And that is... Find a glimmering flower to find a serpent sword. Perfect. Uh, just double checking. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here in the Village of the Ancients. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we are going to go ahead and we've got one more thing to do for my walkthrough here. But I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of grinding, I think, off camera. So until next time, I'm the Bowmeister, and as always, I have been obediently yours.